Hello everyone, we've got another cool video in store for you today. What are we doing? Doing top five centerpiece fish for the 40 gallon. Now we've done a couple of these already. We did the 10 gallon and the 20 gallon centerpiece fish. I will put those in the description below. And we've got some species profiles of some of the fish we're going to feature today also in the description below. So let's just get right on into it. Now this list might be a little bit different. There might be some fish you haven't seen before. The first one is the leaf tinapoma. This is a great fish. Usually when you see them in the store, they're going to be about an inch and a half or so, but they can get a little bit larger. They can get somewhere around five, maybe six inches. One thing to keep in mind, they are a little bit of a predator. So this is not a fish you're going to be able to keep in a 40 breeder with a lot of small fish like neons or rasboras. You're going to want fish that are a little bit larger. Your quarry cats are fine. Some of your fish that are maybe the size of like a bleeding heart tetra or larger for your schooling fish, those will work, but just stay away from the smaller fish or you might see them go missing. But the leaf tinapoma is a very interesting fish. Always looks like it has something on its mind. It swims with a purpose. It's very personable. And the colors are absolutely awesome with that brown and those black spots. It's an unusual fish that is sure to cause a lot of people to ask, what is that in your aquarium? All right, for my first pick, I'm going to go with one of my all-time favorite fish. From a while back, we used to have these. They're the Sahika. It's a very beautiful and gentle cichlid. We had them. They actually bred for us and made the cutest little babies. They have beautiful color. They're very round. They're kind of like a miniature, what I consider a miniature Severum. You may not think so, but I do. I really like their little round shape. Just beware that they will dig a little bit around structures, like if you have some driftwood or some, some rock. Just keep that in mind when you're doing your aquascaping. Make sure that if uh, rocks move around a little bit, they won't fall around in your tank. But they're very peaceful, so you can keep them with some non-cichlid fish. And I just think it's a great pick. My next pick is Hemichromus exua. We actually have them in a 40-gallon breeder right now, and we got a lot of comments on these fish. In our last fish room tour, we've got a group of eight or so in that 40 breeder. They would make a great centerpiece fish. Again, they are a cichlid, but they're not as aggressive as like, let's say the jewel cichlid. They're very closely related. They tend to be a little bit more mellow, get to be around four, four and a half inches or so and show amazing color. The males have a slightly different color than the females and are absolutely outstanding. And because they stay on the smaller side, you can keep more of those neon sized tetras. I wouldn't go really small rasboras with them, but if you've got a fish that's a schooling fish, at least an inch and a half, two inches, they're most likely gonna leave those fish alone. Absolutely outstanding. Take a look at their color. Their personalities are great. Can't go wrong with the Exul. All right, since the Exul has already been taken, which is one of my favorites, I'm going to include what I think should be included in any list, and that would be some type of a Grammy. Yes, the Dwarf Grammy would be great for a 40 gallon. They get to maybe three, three and a half inches, but the color that you're gonna get, you get different choices. You can get reds, blues. There's different varieties, at least like three different varieties that you can get. I find them so much fun to watch because they have like little arms. You can see their little arms moving. I consider them to be arms, but they're very cool. Beautiful fish, you're gonna get a lot of color. Just don't keep them with other garamis. That won't work out so well. They can be slightly aggressive, uh, just kind of assertive. Uh, but you know what? You just can't beat their beautiful color. Now this last fish I absolutely love. It's Cryptoheros nanoluteus. Cryptoheros is the same genus as the convict cichlid, except these fish stay smaller, are not nearly as aggressive, and I have found them not to be as prolific in terms of breeding as the convict cichlid, and they would be a perfect fit for a 40 gallon breeder. We actually had them in a 29 gallon for a very long time, moved them to a 33 long where they had been breeding there. And these are awesome fish with that gold and yellow color and those beautiful blue eyes. It's a very striking fish that people are sure to notice. You do have to be a little bit careful with plants. Sometimes they will snack on some plants. They don't dig all that much, but they will dig a little bit if they start to breed, so keep that in mind. But for the most part, they ignore non-cichlid fish, and I think they're relatively peaceful and certainly a fish you could consider for that 40-gallon breeder. All right, everyone, so those were some pretty cool ideas. Just five ideas for some centerpiece fish. I know some of these were a little bit unusual. Definitely check them out. We've got, a, again, we've got a couple species profiles down there for you. If you want to see more, check out the last round or maybe the last couple rounds of fish room videos we've done. Would love to hear from you. If you've got some really good suggestions for your 40 gallon breeder centerpiece, 
Throw them down in the comments section below. Appreciate being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.